Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to day number two on Nantucket. Yesterday was kind of a day to get acclimated, learn about the island, explore a bit. We did some beach fishing. It was just kind of experimental, but today we've got a full day. No traveling in between, no messing around. We are actually gonna fish. We are still joining forces with Elliot who is setting up a rod that is twice my length and height. That is insane. We're gonna be going after a lot of different things today. Mostly bigger fish, I would say. I don't wanna spoil the surprise, but it's gonna be pretty exciting. So this type of fish that we're gonna do is definitely gonna put me completely out of my element. Elliot's gonna show us around the island and gonna learn how he basically fishes on a daily basis. You do this every day, right? 600 sharks and stingrays in the last five years. Uh, this spot we're going to right now, the last mystery creature we're going after was 13 feet long we caught here. So. 13 feet long? 13 feet, yeah. That's like if you took all the bass that I've been catching for the past month and you lined them up. That's about how long this fish is, to put in perspective. Wow, there's a noisy ass crane over there. Anyway, I'm pumped, I'm excited, stick with us, stay tuned. Let's go catch some fish. The water's like not moving. So exciting. This is my nice little thing just got slurped up by a stingray. Look at that, sucked all the meat right off like it was nothing. Like their mouths are just phew, crazy. Wow, this is, this is why I love saltwater fishing. It's like as soon as you get to the spot, it's action. So we got to this point, literally as soon as we pulled up, there's false albacore busting everywhere, like busting, frothing, foaming. And we didn't bring any like small gear with us. So I ran back to the car, picked up this little, uh, what is this called, a little dick? De <laughs> it's called the deadly dick. It's a little spoon. And they just start busting around this point. So. Elliot set up the big rods. He's on big fish duty. I'm on small fish duty. But I realized those small fish are equally as difficult. They're hard. You have to like chase them. They're moving so fast. Albu Dude, they're busting. Right there. I know. That's what I'm saying. It is tough, but it's a lot of fun. It keeps you on your toes, and that's why I like this type of fishing. So basically, you've got this point with albacore busting on a little tiny bunker, but then we're also fishing for some bigger fish as well. So we got two big rods out. I'm throwing this spoon, hectically trying to catch those fish that are busting right there. He's probably going to catch one. Look at him! Dude, fish that, dude. Go. Oh. I'm off! I'm so off. No way, look at him go! Oh my god, they're going everywhere. Come on, please eat it. Please eat it, please eat it. The spoon's right there. I'm in the... School and they're not a single one looked at my spoon. Hooked up. He's hooked up. <laughs> Holy frustrating. Oh, that thing's running. Oh my god, they just busted right by my spoon. Are you kidding me? Is he fight? Where's he at? Rods, is it moving? Oh my god, this is just too much. It's too much. It's frustrating, but it's just also fun at the same time because it's like a challenge. Like just because they're there, just because they're there, doesn't mean you're gonna catch them. Oh, there they go! Oh, go, 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 get them! Oh my! Bail, pull! I'm on! Yes, there we go! <laughs> yes, dude, I let it fall. It was on the fall that he ate it. I might have snagged him. I'm not sure. <laughs> About time. Oh, he might have eaten it. He ate it. Dude, he ate it on the fall. I wasn't even moving it. Oh, Let's go. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> That's a bonita. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, they finally did it. Dude, just let it fall. See what happens. I don't know. That was on the fall, like flat out. It's a little bonita. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> check that out. <laughs> Can you believe that this is the little fish we've been chasing on the beach all morning? We had some big lines out of course for some larger fish, but while we were doing that, these dudes were going in a hot flurry. This right here is a little bonita. They're built literally like torpedoes, as you can see right on cue. I couldn't even get a single one. I threw in there, messed up my cast, let it sink, and he chomped it. My first ever one of the New England trip. They get a little bit bigger than this, but that's not a bad one. Normally we get an epic release of these guys, but uh, today we're gonna use them as bait. Elliot prefers these guys just because they, uh, they're real smelly and really fishy. But that's such a sick catch. That was a fun fight, even on a big rod. All right, buddy, your days are over. You're not gonna believe this. We were gonna use them as bait, but then Ray and Elliot convinced me that these guys 
are like the white tuna. I had no idea you could eat these. I've heard that they don't taste good, but I'm about to be proven wrong. But look at this, this is even perfect. This is, this is paradise. You don't even need to go to the grocery store to get everything you need for ketchup good. You got the fish from the water, you got the lemon from the water. Let's take this guy back and uh, eat some bonita. <laughs> Right. Gills, eh? Yeah, so just rip one of the gills out or even cut these gills will work. You just want him to bleed. You want to get all the blood out of his meat. Does that ruin the meat, basically? Yeah, it won't taste it won't taste well. Um, you'll see like when we fillet it, it'll be like this like white chalky color. Um, and it won't it won't have any of the blood in it. And then we'll ice it, just fillet it like a normal fish, and then he's got a big blood line down the middle that you'll see here when we cut it that okay. like kind of V's in the in the lower half there. Remove Take that, that apart. Yeah. And then all you do is we'll go home, boil it, basically blanch boil it. it. Yeah, blanch it. And then eight minutes, shred it up, make it into some nice tuna salad, some whole grain bread, maybe some potato chips. Wow. Beauty. That sounds amazing. This guy does look tasty, but we're gonna try it for ourselves. I'm pretty excited. Ray, this is Ray's secret bonita recipe we're gonna try. I'm not I'm not born to this whole eating bonita thing, so I'm pumped to try this out. This guy looks tasty. I know, I think it was... Oh, we've made it to Stop and Shop. Let's get some ingredients. Portuguese bread's always the way to go. That's cookie dough? Cookie dough. So, like you can just flat out eat though, or like you can no, cook with it? No, it's like you make your own batch of cookies. It's the most expensive freaking place. A sandwich here is 14 bucks. How much is this bread? Five bucks. Whoa, five, okay, five. Yeah. For sure, it must be like gold flakes in the in, in the flour or something. Nah, <laughs> this is good. We got, we got, we're gonna try two different breads here. We got like just straight up white bread and we got some crunchy whole grain. This is Ray's recommendation. By the way, what else uh, mayo? Uh, mayo, sweet relish, one red onion. One red onion. Or just regular relish, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Get it. This one looks right. Miracle Whip. Just to say that. Oh, that looks good, bro. Put a little bit of spice in there. Then this, you're gonna skin it. And then you'll see here, this bloodline will basically be like right along here, and then we'll just yep. basically come right down this side of it, right down this side of it, at like It'll just a hair of an angle, like, and it'll come right off. Almost like that? Yeah, on. but yeah. skin it first. Okay, for sure, for sure. Let's do this little one. The biggest thing is just like... Don't go too deep. Nah, but I mean, you can always like trim it off the back. Come in like this. You'll see most of them come out. Mm. That's like the main That's like portion gross. of it. Not great, but uh, not necessarily bad. First time playing a bonita. There's that nasty bloodline that apparently is what creates that fishiness taste. Probably one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like to eat these fish or think that they don't like these fish is you keep that on there and that's just, I mean, I can't imagine what that would taste like. Pro pro yeah, probably not very good, but let's get to cooking. Yeah, good thinking, honestly. Dude, I could smell that the second it went through. Instantly. Yeah. That's so cool. Wow. So this is what you would call boiling or blanching. Normally when you see these ketchup cooks on YouTube, it's like, frying it, deep frying it, grilling it, but this is very different. I think this is pretty specific with this type of fish that we're cooking. You can use a lot of different type of fish, I'm guessing, but especially with this one, because it's kind of a, it's a unique fish. You, you need to kind of work around it, but what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna make this into kind of like a bonita salad, and then we'll use that salad to put it between some like toasted bread and eat it almost as like a lobster roll kind of deal, but this looks good. So we wait for, you said eight-ish? Eight, to ten, eight minutes. to 10 minutes. As you can see that like, that light red is now turned into this white color, and that means that it's cooking, of course. After this is done blanching for like eight minutes, we're then gonna take 
some of these red onions, and then some, uh, what is that, relish, we got some relish right here, some mayo, mix it all together, add some flavorness, and then put it in between a bun and eat it. It's gonna taste so damn good. Oh, good. That's thick. Oh, hell yeah. So, Ray brought some pre-made bonita dip over. This is like, in the dip form, we're gonna make it into like a sandwich form or like a salad form so we can put it in, in a sandwich, but we're gonna try it out before we make it. Kind of backwards, but whatever. Mm. This is so good. Like, it's so legit. I love dip, man. So good. Oh my God. Uh, this isn't even like the final step. This is like step two of like a four or five step process. It's a big process, but that's that's like the lengths you have to go to to make a good meal. You know, we could just wrap this up and be like, all right, we're done. But no, we're going all off. Very secret bonita recipe coming up hot. Literally hot. It's freaking steamy. Usually you just open a can, but you yeah. <laughs> Give it a little taster. Yeah, man. Why not? Water. I mean, straight up without any seasoning or anything. It's great. Like it tastes like just boiled fish. It's not fishy. It doesn't taste like, you know, what you would think this fish would taste like. Like very stinky and, and uh, kind of oily. That was solid. But like I said, this is the process. So we cooled it off with some cool water. Now we're drying it off because you don't want like that water to soak into the actual filet or the actual meat. And then we're going to let it sit. We're gonna mix it. No, what are we're we gonna doing? put it on the plate. We're gonna dry the plate back out. Yeah. Um. Then we're gonna put it in the freezer for like 20 minutes. Let it yeah. harden up nice and good. That right. way we can flake it and uh, add the mayonnaise relish and whatever else we're done. Done. into it. We can done. Here, Bert. There we go. So what are we gonna do, Ray? All right. So now we're gonna. The fish is cooled. We're gonna flake it all apart, um, and then we're gonna make two different kinds here. We're gonna make a spicy relish and a sweet relish. So we'll flake it all apart, split it up, and then mix it with the mayonnaise, get the right consistency that we like, add the relish, then maybe some onions, and that's it. So easy. We're trying two different flavors here. It's, it's always good to improve upon an existing recipe. So that's why we're doing the sweet red relish, which has like just red pepper in it. It's got a little, little kick, a little spice. We're gonna throw a little bit, a little bit, into the first one, and then we're gonna do the classic recipe in this bowl and see which one we like best. Six dollar relish better smell. Six, six dollar relish better, better smell amazing, huh? All right, so here comes the best part of a catch and cook. Any catch and cook is the taste test, the part where you get to eat it. We've got red relish over here, and then regular sweet relish. This is the original recipe. We decided we'd try the, the red just to see if it adds a little more pop, a little more zest. A little more bam, bam to the recipe, you know what I'm saying? So let's try this one first. I'm gonna load this up with some bread. I mean, it looks really good, really good. You know, you got you got a cookout and you wanna press the neighbors, and this is the way to do it. So here's where you add the kind of crunch, because the, the dip is soft and the bread's soft, so it's where you get your actual structure foundation. Here we go. Add some salt and vinegar chips on top. Are right, you guys ready? Here we go, first one going in. It's gonna be tough to beat that. That's really good. Red relish is, is good because it's got the red pepper in there. A little more, uh, it's not heat, it's just a little more like potent. Yeah. That's solid. Okay, let's try this one. This one's a regular. Regular, straight up, simple. They're both delicious. Like, it just depends on what you're looking for. Like, they're two different things, two different beasts. The original is amazing, but if you want to switch it up a little bit, add some, some uh, spiciness to your life, go with the red. That's so good. Mm -mm -mm. That red, nice red. I do like it, dude. It literally looks like a lobster roll. Like yeah. you could easily sell this out here. All right, you're making a full sandwich, dude. I'm just making a small one, like a little finger. You know, I've been eating this for like an hour now, so I'm already full. But yeah, you get a little patty going, dude. You gotta do it right. You know? Oh my god, put all the work into it. Like for something that people think is a trash fish, this is. Yeah, incredible. I can't believe people aren't eating this. It's so, it's so simple, right? We, we pull up to the beach, no boat action, right. no gas. Just sneak in, boys. Well, guys, um, this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's catch. If you guys want to see more, give this video a like. Be sure to subscribe and, and let us know in the, in the comments below what fish or any sort of like species or whatever we should cook up next. This was delicious, very unique. Huge shout out to these guys for making this catch and cook happen. Be sure to check out their social medias and their guide service linked down below. Oh, they fish for some pretty badass fish, bluefin, for sharks, 
everything and anything off the beach, off the boat, which is really dope. So we should do that. We're gonna crunch down, make some sandwiches for tonight's uh, PM session for some monster fish. And we'll catch you guys next time on the next epi. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, keep fishing. Never stop.